happy Friday. How's everybody doing today? Welcome to Chocolat One. My name's Beth and I'm an independent designer with Chocotour. If you're watching, please say hello. Hit that thumbs up, send me those hearts, and um, sprinkle, 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 which means S-H-A-R-E, to your other crafty friends and family members. I'm going to do the same right now. Sprinkle this to my VIP group. And then I have something to share with you. We'll see if anybody pops in here real quick. I didn't post, I didn't post pre-post my live tonight, so we might have a small group tonight. Well, I usually have a small group. Anyways, uh, it is raining. My daughter and I took a drive up north to Bonners Ferry is the town. And we were coming back and it's on a, a four lane highway. And oh my gosh. Hi, Carolyn, how are you tonight? We, um, it was raining, there was a lot, a lot of traffic and we live in a small, small town and we were almost in a head-on accident. This, this big truck came uh, kind of swerving into our lane. My daughter really kept her cool, um, and then we screamed. <laughs> but that was, thank you, Jesus, um, for being there with us, because that was like maybe one of the scariest things I've ever experienced. It was really scary. So, <sighs> gotta let that, let that go, blow that negative energy off, and come into my craft room and do something fun. <laughs> so, um, my husband has been out cleaning out the shop and the garage, and he found this set of campware, and it is so cute. It's, it's metal, so, it, you know, it's made to go in the fire, I guess. So there was four cups, four plates, and four bowls. So I did a plate just so you could see. Isn't that cute? It came out so cute. I, and I did this in ink. And thank you, Carolyn. Thank you so much. It was so scary. Um, I did this in ink. So um, I'm going to let everything dry tonight. And I'm so I've not inked on tin, I guess, or metal is what this is. I don't know. So I'm going to try heat setting it um, tomorrow. So I'll have a report tomorrow how things went. But um, we're going to use this cute little A-size transfer um, for these cups. And we have three sayings, so we'll only get to do three cups tonight. But um, it'll be fun. And this is called... Christmas mini tags. And this is 2021. And so these, these would fit, let me see if I have any in my drawer here. I do. These would fit on our little wooden tags. Really cute. I mean, they're, they're you know, they're they're made for that. They come with little pieces of jute to tie it, but you could see how you could use those. You put these as ornaments, or you could use them as tags for gifts. That would be a fun homemade thing to do. So we have one transfer with three pieces to it, three separate little transfers within it. I'm gonna zip those apart, and then I'm gonna prep our cups. I did wash them in the dishwasher this morning so they'd be ready to go because they've been sitting out in the shop. <clears throat> I don't even remember buying this set. Um, Bill says we've had it for 18 years. I don't know. I'm glad he found it. <laughs> I told him, ooh, I can chalk on that. <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to do, when, when I have some ceramic mugs here too, I was looking for things in my stash today. Um, whenever I ink on mugs, I take a little alcohol prep pad and wipe off the area 
that just removes any um, oils from my fingertips or from wherever um, so the ink adheres better. Some people, um, I've had really good luck inking on ceramics. Some people um, are saying that their ink, it, it, it peels off, it scratches off, it washes off. So I don't know if it has anything to do with the amount of humidity in your home or with the area that you live. But I honestly have not had any problems with it. So we're just going to let that dry. We can start fuzzing our little transfers. And we'll want to fuzz these really good because it'll, it's going to stick like crazy to that. Let's see here. Yeah, that came out really cute. The, the white is um, striking on this dark navy blue. So while our alcohol is drying on those cups, look at this. You know that that near miss today just goes to show me um, you have to you have to be so grateful for every single day you have because you just you never know. Um, you just, you just never know. So, <sighs> it made me really grateful. Okay, I think that's good. Let's see if that feels dry. I think so, but I'm just going to double check here. I'm going to... Alcohol evaporates pretty quickly. So the other thing is you want to, if, if you're right-handed, do you want your, do you want your little um, saying, your print on the outside, or do you want it on the inside facing you? I usually put it on the inside. And these are going to fit just perfectly on here. I do want to get it straight, however. Let me <clears throat> grab a little squeegee here. This will work to hold this up a little. There we go. See if I get it pretty much equidistance. That looks good. And the cup has natural little bumpies under there. So if I lay it down and I feel like there's a bump right where my print's going to be, I would probably uh, reposition it. I'm going to press out as much air as I can, which hopefully is most of it, all of it. Okay, so there's our transfer on our little tin cup. Let's do this one. Get your jingle on. That is cute. Move this over a little bit. He says, <laughs> my husband says, if you sell those, you have to replace them. <laughs> <laughs> he cracks me up. <laughs> okay, that one's on. Here's get your jingle on. That's gonna be so cute. And this one I love. Holiday calories don't count. That's the truth. Um, they they start adding up after the holidays, though. That's the problem with holiday calories. That's crooked. Let's try it again. It's raining like crazy here all day. Well, it started this afternoon, actually. 
and then we're supposed to get snow tonight and tomorrow. It may not get down to our elevation. We're at 2,200 feet. And I think it said 3,000, but we live in a snow belt, so we usually get the snow if it's at 3,000 feet. Okay. Now the fun part. I have bright white ink. Just because if, you, if you're hopping on late, I did this the plate earlier. And I just love the way the white looks on it. And this is from a different transfer set. I might do the rest of the uh, plates in, in that collection. I have a small squeegee. And we're just going to apply this. Right across that silk screen. And with ink, I try to go one direction, especially if I'm on fabric, because you have a lot more give with a piece of fabric. There it is. Lost you for a second. I don't know what happened. Isn't that? That is cute. Okay, I'll wash these. Well, I'll just rinse it off right now. I have my tub of water and my little half a board eraser. I'm just washing the front and the back. Hi, Sherry. Okay, let's do this one. Just get it covered and then we'll skim it off. And just goes right back in your jar. It takes actually very little ink or paste on your projects. That is cute. Super easy, really fast. Ow. There's that one. And clean up as you go, and then you're done almost when you get um, all finished. You're done. One more. That is a lot of ink. I don't need that much. I think this would be a really cute um, table setting. You know, kind of rustic camping look with some little trees as a centerpiece. We could do our trees as a centerpiece. could serve cold drinks or hot drinks in this. Oh no, my tree. I'll have to clean that up. The one tree trunk 
It was looking so cute, and then I saw that. I'll just wipe that off. I might just wipe that off and start over since that happened. Let's do that. Here's my alcohol again. Paper towel. I'm gonna wash this. Usually you can redo these, but when I'm inking, I don't like to do that. So I'm gonna wash this off and probably move it just a tiny bit. It might have been on one of those bumps I was talking about. just use the microfiber side of your fuzzing cloth to dry it. It's got some mm -hmm. some paste stuck on the back of this little transfer. Maybe from my water. Maybe from my, my um, board eraser. You just want to make sure this is really dry so I'm going to <clears throat> get most of the water off and then I'm going to use my little quick set tool here on it. Let's try that again. Maybe we'll go up a little bit with it. See if we have better luck this time. So somehow ink got under there. If I had an air bubble or it wasn't pressed down really good. So easy to correct. I probably could have fiddled with it to try and clean that up, but it, it was so wet it's just easy as just to wipe it off. There's hardly any waste, so no worries. Okay, let's try that again. We all go up and down. to scrape this off. That's good. Okay, a little bit over here. Let's see this one. The big peel and reveal. Did it come out better? It did. Whoops, there we go. That is super cute. Those little trees, it still did it a tiny bit, but I will just clean that up with my uh, little tool. It's really cute, I really like those. Okay, one more clean up here. Just 
dab the extra water off the back of your transfer. <clears throat> if you didn't know, these, these transfers, the vinyl is made with a water-soluble vinyl also, or in the adhesive, I believe. So you don't want to leave them sitting in water or water sitting on top of them because it can, you know, decrease the integrity of your transfer. Scrape that down there a little bit. All right. So these are going to uh, these are going to dry overnight right here on my desk. And then tomorrow, what I what I'll do is I'm going to treat I'm going to treat them like they're ceramic um, mugs. So I'll put them in a cold oven, set my oven temperature to 350, and once it comes up to temperature to 350, then I'll set the timer for 30, 40 minutes. Usually is what I do, um, and then just turn the oven off, but leave the oven door closed so it it um, naturally cools down. And so then when everything is cooled down, then I'll take them out and test them and see if they are heat set. But I'm excited to have these for Christmas. Those are cute. Uh, so that's it. I will be back tomorrow. Thanks, Billy. Um, and at 4.30. And we'll chalk and talk a little bit more. We'll do something different. And until I see you tomorrow, take good care.